Hi guys, I'm Isabel Brave and tonight's topic is gentleness. And before I get started, I wanted to show you something I found in my fridge. This is my ice tray and I don't know if you can see, there's this ice cube that's kind of just like out of, <laughs> now they're popping out of the tray. This ice tray is haunted. <laughs> I don't know where this mystery cube came from. The way I use ice is I take them out one by one. So there's this strange formation of an ice cube for no reason. It's mystery ice cube. I thought you guys get a kick out of that. I don't know why. I guess <laughs> I guess if you get excited over nothing like me, you'd be interested. Anyway, gentleness. So I've gotten some letters sometimes saying, why aren't you more aggressive and in your face and have an attitude and all of this? And some people say, you know, you're manners and you're being so mild is phony it's not real and I've looked at some other advice type videos on YouTube and on you know other media TV and things and books and sometimes they do have this very aggressive approach in your face you know and you better be good to people and stuff and <laughs> that's just not me and some people think well no one's going to listen to you if you're gentle and I wanted to say that it is easy to consider advice when it is brought forth with care and consideration and gentleness. Sometimes people are offended or feel manipulated if you are so blustering, you see. And it's, it's an opportunity to be kind, you know. Usually if you're giving advice, it's because you care about people and you love them. So you ought to act that way. Anyhow, I wanted to read an Aesop's fable that I've always loved that's about this very topic. And I will read it now, I hope you enjoy it. It's called The North Wind and the Sun. I'm gonna be reading from a book. The North Wind and the Sun had a quarrel about which of them was the stronger. While they were disputing with much heat and bluster, a traveler passed along the road wrapped in a cloak. Let us agree, said the sun, that he is the stronger who can strip the traveler of his cloak. Very well, growled the north wind, and at once he set a cold, howling blast against the traveler. With the first gust of wind, the ends of the cloak whipped about the traveler's body, but he immediately wrapped it closely around him, and the harder the wind blew, the tighter he held it to him. The north wind tore angrily at the cloak, but all his efforts were in vain. Then the sun began to shine. At first his beams were gentle, and in the pleasant warmth after the bitter cold of the north wind, the traveler unfastened his cloak and let it hang loosely from his shoulders. The sun's rays grew warmer and warmer. The traveler took off his cap and mopped his brow. At last he became so heated that he pulled off his cloak and to escape the blazing sunshine, threw himself down in the welcome shade of a tree by the roadside. And the moral of the story is, gentleness and kind persuasion win and force and bluster fail. So I hope you enjoy that story as much as I do. I love fables. <laughs> and I hope you're doing well. And if I don't see you before Halloween, have a happy Halloween. So if you find yourself to be sort of a abrasive type of person, perhaps you might try to be gentle because the truth is gentleness and kindness is a lot more powerful than we are led to believe. And if you are one who is already like this, and people are telling you it doesn't work, don't listen to them. Do what you know is right. And I hope you have a good evening. And, uh, and thank you for all the <laughs> excitement about Munha and my girls. <laughs> they have a cat lady costume for Halloween these days in the Halloween stores with cats all over it and a robe and you look, you know, and I was thinking, I don't need the cat lady costume. Here I am. <laughs> anyway, good night and um, and God bless.